So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start tracking ads with your Shorty account. Now with Shorty, you can track any click uh, from your ads. You can't track impressions. So you can't track uh, the number of times a banner loads on your website, for example, because those are impressions. Uh, but you can track everything from a click onwards right up to the conversion, multiple conversions uh, in your Shorty account. Okay, so that would mean that you can track anything like um, uh, social media ads if you're advertising through Facebook or if you have posted a link on your uh, timeline or on your Facebook page or in a group on Twitter, etc. You can also track uh, clicks on links from your website. You can track uh, clicks uh, on banners on your website. You can also track other kind of... Um, more informal ads like uh, solo ads, uh, email exchange exchanges, uh, clicks from your email, etc. Anything that you want to track uh, to discover where your best conversions are, you can do it with campaigns in Shorty. Okay, so let's dive uh, into it. And this is how you do it when you are logged into your WordPress account. Okay, in Shorty, you just go to campaign. And you can create campaigns here, okay? And a campaign is basically tagged to an existing tracking link. So if you want to uh, create a tracking link, okay, for example, uh, this, this tracking link is to our Cradle website, okay? Uh, let me just check that, okay? All right, so make sure that you have created your tracking link first. Then you can create a campaign to add on to the tracking link where you can specify some variables and track your cost. Let's click on add new campaign. So first choose the tracking link that you have already created. Okay. And so I have two cradle here. One is to cradle Facebook and the other is to our website. I'm going to select this tracking link. Okay. And now you go to campaign parameters. So you can see the exclamation icon here that indicates these three variables are required and the other two are not. So you may find that this is very similar to Google Analytics, the Google Analytics URL builder, and you are absolutely right. Okay, so it's very compatible with Google Analytics. Uh, the terms that we use like source, medium, campaign, content, term, etc. Uh, mean exactly what they do in Google Analytics. Okay, but just in case you are a bit confused, uh, we give you some explanation here. Now, a thing about adding parameters is that you have to be consistent, okay? Whatever you answer here is going to appear in your reports. Uh, so you need to have an idea of um, how you want to format your parameters. And I would recommend something like this. I would recommend not using any uppercase letters at all. Leave it all as lowercase. So for example, if I want to track um, an ad, okay? A solo ad, for example, if I'm running a solo ad with a couple of solo partners, okay? So I will type in here solo ads, okay? Or if I want to space it, I should put an underscore instead of just a space. Again, this is not um, something you have to do, but it's just recommendations. And in fact, Google Analytics also recommended you do the exact same thing. Now, the source will be your solo ads, okay? And the medium, okay, this is this is another variable in Google Analytics as well. And the medium specifies uh, the type of, well, the type of medium uh, that is getting the traffic. For example, a banner or an email or CPC, uh, which is a cost per click. And these are all standard terms that are used in Google Analytics. And if you can match what you use in Google Analytics, that would be great. You can click here, read more about MCF channels. So now a solo ad will be, the medium would be email. And if this is a link in a broadcast email or follow-up email, the medium will be still the same, email, okay? And now comes to campaign. Okay, so campaign, let's say I want to do, uh, I'm doing a sale for Black Friday, okay? A Black Friday sale. All right, now let's click on create campaign. Okay, so with this campaign, uh, for every click, we will give you a unique campaign link as well, which I will show you. Um, now, for every click on this campaign, the source, medium, and campaign here will show up in your campaign reports. Now, you have another two terms that you may want to use. Okay, these are optional. So if let's say you're running the same campaign through multiple partners. I may want to uh, create 
a campaign link for each partner and give it to them to send out a solo email so that I know which partners have uh, sent out a solo email, uh, which which partners have good quality traffic that's converting, etc. So let me give you an example. Maybe this partner's name is John. Okay, so I'll put the content here as John and save changes. Okay, the next thing you'll know is calculate cost. And this will be very useful for uh, any kind of uh, ads that involves a cost per click. Okay, at the moment, we don't have a fixed cost, but it's something that we will consider adding in the future. The currency is specified in your settings page. So let me put the cost per click here at 10 cents. Okay, this for example, Facebook ads or even Google AdWords. And let me click on save changes. All right, so now let's go back to campaigns. And this is the campaign that I have just created. Now let's click on that campaign. All right, and you will find that uh, it goes to my website and after that, it passes the entire campaign variables into the URL string in the browser's address bar. This is something that you may want to do if it is your own uh, website that you're sending traffic to and the variables that you've entered here is passed in the standard UTM uh, prefix which is used by Google Analytics so in other words if you're using Google Analytics on this site as well then uh, the exact same campaign variables like solo ads medium etc will show up very nicely in your Google Analytics account and you'll be able to see much uh, uh, much better details in Google Analytics. Now that is something that is not by default. Okay, so let me show you what happens there. Now the link, the campaign that I've created is for this link. Okay, Cradle, I can click edit. So what I've done basically is I have set forward campaign tags as on. Okay, because this is my own website. Now if this is a partner's website and you don't want them to no details about your campaign okay you can turn it off this happens on the link not in the campaign now let's go back to campaigns okay so this is the campaign again a campaign is tagged to a tracking link now let me click on that and you will find this time that uh, no variables are passed in the url string okay now let me go back to the links as well okay so a lot of the stuff the controls here are in the in the link now you'd find another thing here called forward parameters okay this is not for campaigns this is just if you use the tracking link itself so the campaign tag is separate and forward parameters tag is separate as well now how the forward parameter tag works is you know it helps you to create campaigns on the fly or any kind of other tagging that you may want to use so let me show you for for this link i'm going to click copy copy the clipboard okay and i'm going to open up a new tab here okay and here i'm going to type in the tracking link and if you want to forward any parameter you can do it okay my parameter equals to testing okay um, and as soon as i hit enter it will bring me to the destination URL and now whatever uh, parameters that I've entered have also been passed. Just to clear up some confusion, okay, so um, when you create a campaign, go back to the tracking link, make sure that you have set forward campaign tags as on. And forward parameters, you know, you can, by default it's off, but this is not to be used with the campaign. This is just if you want to create something on the fly or something you know with your own format so that the receiving or the third party softwares that are involved in the entire process can pick up on those parameters okay so that's how easy it is to create a campaign in shorty that you can use now let me show you in terms of the reports okay um, to see the campaign report oh, but first okay so you can see now that i start gathering data on on cost okay uh, cost per click okay this is the click all right so since I've entered a cost every click will generate a cost uh, data in your reports and now let's go to campaigns and you can see the campaign solo ad here okay I've clicked on it uh, twice uh, visits two visits visitors only one because it's just me 
Now you can see the campaign cost. Okay, so I've entered the cost as 10 cents. And since there's two visits, now the cost is 20 cents. And if you uh, set up your conversions correctly, then all the other the other uh, rows and columns will be filled up as well with revenue and revenue per visitor, etc. Okay, and you will be able to see your profit or ROI. All right, so that's how easy it is to create a campaign in Shorty to start tracking all the different advertising and traffic sources that you have and determine which ones are actually converting best for you and actually helping you to make money so that hopefully you can uh, choose to cut off those campaigns that are not making money or not profitable and by doing that you'll be able to double up your efforts on the campaigns that are profitable and make a whole lot more money on the internet that's all for this video thank you for watching